Hi guys, so I wanted to bring you a video today on what it is sort of like and the process of going through training at GNC. So usually, depending on your background knowledge and how much availability you have, it can take anywhere from about a month and a half, two months, up to six, seven months in order to complete your training and being able to sell on the sales floor by yourself, open and close the store. Um, basically, whenever you finish training, you move up to being a key holder from a sales associate. Prior to that, during that original when you start up until whenever you're done with training can take um, you always have to be there with your manager so usually it's not somebody else training you not another associate unless they are an assistant manager or an associate that's been there for years sometimes managers will trust them to train you most of the time though if you will be with your manager and you're on training hours so usually your hours don't necessarily count towards the store until you are off training so the first thing that you go through as a GNC employee is GNC University. It is on the computer. We now have tablets, which we didn't have when I started. Um, so you're on the computer, so it's also the same register. So if your manager has to ring out a customer or another associate has to ring out a customer, you have to exit out and kind of go back in. Hopefully that some of the stuff, if you're in the middle of answering questions that they did save, if not, then you have to kind of restart that unit. There's about 30 to 50 different units that you have to go through. So. It is different product knowledge overall, so you'll go through fish oils, probiotics, um, vegan and vegetarian proteins, whey proteins, multivitamins, pre-workout, stuff like that. On top of you also will have brand training, so GNC will do like GNC multivitamins or GNC Vitapaks or whey bollock protein, other things. Um, along those lines they will have certain units where you have to go through all of them some of them have quizzes at the end some of them are just like I read and I understand and then you hit the little thing and then you can go back they also will sometimes tell you the answer to the question at the end or they'll tell you that you got that question wrong sometimes they won't tell you which questions you got wrong so you kind of have to start over um, and go from there I know for me the biggest thing that my manager had to help me with and even though he couldn't figure out one of the units on like safe store handling so dealing with like the safe and closing at the end of the night and keys and everything like that we couldn't figure out half the answers for it even though my manager was basically walking me through it it took us that was probably the longest unit it took me to actually finish during my GNC University training for me um, official full length of training took about three months GNC University I think took me about two weeks just because I had limited availability when I first started after you complete GNC University a lot of the times you will go through probably a week or two of being on shifts where you're kind of selling to customers but mainly your manager is selling and you will kind of shadow them or they will let you take a customer that's looking at lean shakes because those aren't necessarily as hard as selling a probiotic or selling a testosterone booster which was probably the hardest thing for me to learn how to sell just because I have low testosterone levels. I'm a girl, not a guy, so I don't necessarily need to raise my testosterone, so I wasn't very familiar with the whole aspect and it didn't make a lot of sense to me at the beginning. Now it's no problem, but you gotta get your feet wet in anything, which GNC helps you with. Then from there, manager training, so either with customers or your manager can be like, hey, sell me this product, sell me this fish oil, sell me this protein, why do I want it, why is it good for me? And usually you have to top down sell, so you sell either most expensive or um, and then lower it so say somebody like usually you'll go for like a $50 protein and then if they can't afford that you can go down to the next level um, you do want to sell best to the customer so usually better quality is gonna be the more expensive uh, products but it depends on the customer if they can't afford it they can't afford it after that your manager will probably have you run through a lot of um, these daily supplement sheets that come out every single week it's not daily I don't know why they don't call it weekly supplement but they have daily supplements that they send through the GNC portal, which is on our registers that we print out every week. Um, you have to go through, do an interaction with your manager, you sign off that you read everything, and then at the end you have to basically put the main thing that you took away from the entire actual reading. Sometimes managers will have you go through, there is a binder of them, so they might have you go through that binder because it has more products specific information and it's printed so it can be a little bit easier than seeing everything on the computer. The nice thing too is most GNC stores um, have a store nutrition guidebook. We couldn't find this till after I finished my training, so I feel like it would have been a lot more helpful to have originally, but you can always go through, I believe all of the units for what's in GNC University is in the nutrition book, but it will help a lot with ratios because most of GNC stuff will be like 
you're a woman, you need this much protein. If you need this much fish oil in a day, this much CLA in grams is what is most effective. Stuff like that they will have in the store nutrition guidebook. Um, and then they also have these, which they recently just sent out. It's a little, one of those little hook things that has cards on them. I forget what they're called. Um, and you can flip through and it'll say general nutrition, lose weight, maintain weight, gain weight, testosterone support, 50 plus support. And it'll show you um, recommendations for each product in that category. So it'll be like for multivitamin, fish oil, probiotic, protein. This is what they recommend for those people. You don't have to follow them specifically. If you like a certain product, go ahead and sell that product. But just keep that in mind. Another great form of information and training, which usually will happen after you are completed with training. So this is overall continuation of training, uh, is that vendors and reps are very important. So I know in a previous store I worked in, it was a bigger store. It was an XP or test store. So they got more products in general. Um, the Persa Labs rep came in and they do Finiflex, they do Noxygen, Depol, um, Amino D, Condense are a lot of their products. They had a lot more reps coming in because they had more products. Unfortunately here at the store I've been in for a while, they, I have not seen a single rep in the store, which kind of sucks. And a lot of the times, another point too is manager meetings. Um, managers will get additional training from reps. So sometimes Performix, Performix reps or Cellucor reps, uh, they will give you a lot more information. They'll give you packets um, on top of, they'll talk to you about it and you can take notes from the reps. It's a lot easier to understand than on a piece of paper. Overall training, like I said before, is about a month and a half up to about six, seven months. Uh, usually availability is probably the biggest factor in training. And if you just don't get stuff right away, then it could take a little bit longer. Uh, just let your manager know ahead of time how long you think it'll take you or if you're not understanding something, ask questions. One of the biggest things you can do is ask questions because in GNC you are affecting people's health so you don't want to put that in danger. If somebody, if you're trying to sell them, they want a fat burner but they have a heart condition, that could be a problem. If they don't let you know those things um, or you don't ask certain questions like do you have any medical conditions? Like you can do a non-stimulant like a CLA no problem or, an, or a carnitine but trying to sell them an SST which is a thermogenic fat burner that has caffeine in it and they're just gonna help you physically burn more calories and stimulate your central nervous system and your cardiovascular system that is not gonna be good for that person and that could put them in the hospital. You don't want to risk that. Um, GNC has a bunch of stuff where I don't think you can be held responsible for it but you want to be careful you don't want to give your store a bad name or anything like that so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my little synopsis on what it's like going through gnc training thank you guys and have a great rest of your day bye